There's an old saying that goes, give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day, but teach a man to fish and he'll eat for a lifetime. Welcome to I Believe TV, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques the media and government use to keep you in the dark. My name is Justin Ballot, and today I'm going to be speaking to you about organizational structures. Now it doesn't matter what type of organization it is, it doesn't matter whether it's a political organization, a corporate organization, a sporting organization, or a cannabis organization, all organizations fall into one of two categories. Either the organization wants to teach you to fish, or the organization wants to sell you a fish, supply you a fish for the day. So when it comes time for you to decide which organization you want to be a part of, the advice that I can give for you to choose which organization to belong to is to ask yourself the question, is this organization trying to teach me how to fish or are they just trying to supply me with a fish? You see, nowadays, I would say it's more sell a man a fish and then he can remain your slave. Teach a man to fish and he'll become independent, which means that he won't need you anymore. So the organizations either exist for the sole purpose of being in control of you and being in control of whatever industry that it is. Or they exist to empower you, in which case the idea is that you can become independent. You don't need that organization. If you just look at this at a very simple level, if I teach you how to fish, that means you can eat. But if I come along and I say, no, 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 you have to have a permit to fish. Only the big corporations can fish, you see. Only we're allowed to fish and then we will sell you the fish. Well, it's pretty obvious that that organization wants to maintain control and they also want to ensure that you can never ever make money. Because if you can't make money, that means that you're the perfect slave because you have to work for them or for somebody to earn money, then you can buy the fish from them. Where if you can actually go and fish yourself, well then they're not going to make any money from you because you're going to be getting your own fish for free. So the organizations... Most organizations exist solely for the purpose of control. They want to be able to control you. They want to be able to control everything around you. And that's where regulations and permits and all of these sort of things come in. So it doesn't matter whether it's a sporting organization that say, oh, you can only use this type of tennis racket or this type of golf club. It doesn't make a difference whether it's a political organization saying, vote for us so that we can give all the contracts to our buddies or whether it's a, a marijuana organization that's saying, we are in charge, we are in control, just become a member of our organization and we'll do all the fighting for you. And then you just get whatever they give you. You've got no say in the organization, you've got no say in how you get or what you get, you just get whatever's given to you. When it comes time to looking at the marijuana uh, movement and the organizations within the marijuana movement, you've got to ask yourself, these organizations that are out there, which organization is going to actually help you, which is going to empower you, which organization is going to teach you how to fish, how to be able to stand up for yourself, how to be able to protect your own human rights. Or are the organizations out there trying to give you a fish, trying to sell you a fish. In other words, they will do everything for you. You pay them money, you pay them a membership fee, you don't do anything from there. They do everything for you, so you have to rely on them. And if they make a mistake, well, then that's the end of you, isn't it? So. Ask yourself the question and then it's pretty clear to understand where you stand within the structure. The organization that I represent, Cannabis South Africa, the, the Cannabis Embassy of South Africa, our policy, our idea is to empower individuals to be able to stand up for themselves in court and to protect their human rights. So the way that I look at it is I think it's much better to be an organization that empowers others as opposed to an organization that wants to maintain control.